Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we'd like to share how to obtain the inverse of a 4 by 4 matrix by using a simple calculator 3, even though the function is not available in the calculator. Consider the matrix A. First step is to obtain the transpose of the matrix, which means that we change all the rows to columns. First row change to first column, second row change to second column, and so on. Next is to obtain the core factor for each M3. To obtain the core factor for the first M3, we shall remove the respective row as well as the respective column, which means that we remove first row and first column, and those entries that left, we copy and paste here. Similarly, for the second entry of first row, remove first row, second column. The one that left, we put it here. For the third entry, remove and remove. Copy, paste here. First entry of the second row, also remove the respective row as well as the respective column. The remaining entries, copy, paste here. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the entries. Next, a very important step is to add the plus minus sign alternately. Plus followed by minus, followed by plus, followed by minus. Plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus, plus, and so on. And now we can make use of the calculator to help us to speed up the process in obtaining the enjoy of these matrices. The steps is very important. Make sure we follow, otherwise we are not able to speed up the process. We press mode and we look for the matrix function number 6. Choose a particular matrix, let's say A, and we have 3 by 3 matrix. Since this is 3 by 3, so we choose 1, and we enter the values accordingly. So we have 7, 2, 1, minus 3, 5, 6, 6, minus 3, minus 3. And now we press AC, press Shift. 4 to get the matrix function and we need 7 the determinant shift 4 again we want the matrix a since the data is entered in matrix a so we have 3 press equal and we should obtain the correct value next we should move to the second row but not the second column since we don't want to re-enter everything again since this is troublesome we should make use of this hack when we move to the next and the following rows, always remember that we don't have to re-enter everything again, but we only change the M minus 1 row. Since this is in the second row, so which means that we should change the entries in the M minus 1, which is the first row. So we get back to the matrix function, shift 4, and we should change the data number 2, matrix A, 1, Change only M minus 1. So change the first row for this case. Minus 4, 5, minus 2. Also press AC. Now we check that the sign is alternately plus minus. So which means that this time we should have a negative here. So we press negative and shift 4. Get the determinant function. Shift 4 again and we get the matrix A number 3. Press equal and we should obtain the correct value. Next, the third row. So we should change A minus 1, which is the second row for this case. So again, Shift 4, theta number 2, matrix A, we change the second row. So press down and now change the value accordingly. We have 7, 2, 1. So we change to 7, 2, 1. Press AC. Shift 4, get the matrix function, determinant. Shift 4, we want matrix A, number 3, press equal, we obtain the correct value as we can see. This is faster. Next, we have the fourth row. So again, A minus 1. This time, we should change the third row. So we have shift 4, theta, number 2, matrix A, change the third row for this case so down and down we change to minus three five six as ac remember to add the negative sign since this is ordinarily plus minus plus minus so we have negative followed by shift four determinant shift four matrix a number three press equal we obtain the correct value finish the first column and we should now proceed to the second column Every time we move to another column, unfortunately, we should re-enter all the data again. So shift 4, 
to the their matrix one change all the values so we change to seven two one six five six minus one minus three minus three again press ec this is negative so we press negative shift four and we need determinant shift four the matrix a number three press equal we obtain the correct value now proceed to the second row so again change the n minus one row so we have shift four theta number two and we have matrix a change n minus one so second row we change first row three five negative two as ac shift four determinant shift for matrix A, press equal, we obtain the correct value. Repeat exactly the same step for the rest of the entries. After we have obtained all the values for the entry for the enjoy matrix, and now we can obtain the determinant for the matrix A. To obtain the determinant, copy all the values in the first row of matrix A, and we put it here. Next is to transfer all the values of the first row of the enjoy matrix and we put it here. What we have to do here is to multiply according to the precision. First entry multiply with first entry, second entry multiply with second entry, third entry multiply with third entry and so for the fourth entry. What we have to do next is to add all and this is equal to negative 50 and now we are able to obtain the inverse matrix which is equal to 1 over the determinant times the enjoy matrix and we should obtain the correct values and hence we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you